a hell of a job by Ryan. That's what I just told the team. Came up with some huge plays. I thought he was in command. Um, you know, most of the day, you know, executing the stuff, and, and we tried to hit some, you know, throws down the field. Unfortunately, we weren't able to. But you know, just his, his ability to you know, keep some plays alive in the pocket, you know, I thought were really cool. We took care of the football. Um, you know, all, all credit goes to, to the players and Ryan, obviously, and you know Nick Westbrook coming up with that huge play when we were leaking oil, and uh, you know just the way that they understand the situation there at the end to be able to um, you know finish off the game in, in four minute. How big was Westbrook today specifically with a couple of great catches? He does everything for us, you know, and I uh, you know I do production meetings before the game and early in the season. It's like you know who's this guy with the with the with the last name or who should we you know and it's like you know we we get to see him every day. And the, the type of teammate that he is, um, his value is he's very versatile. He plays a lot of positions. He knows a lot of positions. And if you've ever been out there in a huddle, you know, those calls come in and it's different personnel groups and it's different formations. And he's able to line up, play special teams for us. And, uh, you know, we, we need we need to find a lot of players like Nick. I'm not what are the six year business Well, I mean, I thought we got off to a great start. You know, we traded. You know, some punts, and then we kind of got on a roll and played really complimentary. We got a penalty down the field, scored. Um, but but give their give them credit. You know, Timmy Kelly did a great job in the second half, going to empty. Uh, Davis did unbelievable. He was throwing seeds. Amendola uh, found the fountain of youth, and you know we were we were struggling defensively. So um, you know, give give them a lot of credit, and then we were able to give us credit for battling back. Well, his toughness, I think he does have some play strength. Uh, we've seen him run with the football, and we put it on the ground, I guess, and, and we were able to recover it. But um, you know, I think his toughness continues to show up, and uh, and that's what you have to have in this league to play quarterback. He's not obviously talked about a lot when it comes down to the top five, top ten quarterbacks. How much is your – He's our quarterback. You know, I mean, he's our quarterback, and so you know, we won 12 games with him. Well, that's all earned. You know, that's all earned. It's not like talked about. It's it's viewed, and uh, he's earned their respect. He's earned their trust and and the confidence. Well, the first thing is going to be to to get healthy. You know, to use that time to get healthy. You know, we started dropping there late in the game, um, and then try to improve. You know, we were really, you know, doing a lot of good things defensively, and uh, you know, this will be good. This will be a good week, and, and we'll be able to coach them hard, and, and they'll they'll take uh, and they'll respond to that. We had a conversation about Julio Jones and his involvement. You guys got him with the football a, a lot today. What was clicked? Was it just? Well, I mean, I think he was, you know, the ability to him to be out there and you know put some days of practice together, and and Ryan to 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 start to build some. Um, you know, trust in throwing the football there, and you know, I thought he thought he played really well for us. I saw him trying to block. I saw him trying to finish. So um, it was great. How did, as far as like how he responded to this full day of work, you know, everything seemed okay. Sort of well, again, it's just uh, just a few minutes after the game, Teron. So mm-hmm. you know, I think we'll be able to identify that as we move on. What's it going to take to you know build off of kind of what, what you guys showed? You know, probably a lot of the same things. It starts with protection. I think it starts, you know, with clean pockets, but also, you know, identifying manner zone and, and, and spacing and, and the things that we have going. So, you know, we weren't perfect, but uh, I think it was a huge step in the right direction. No, I mean, we, we didn't, you know, I mean, they don't give you a hat or t shirt for anything like that, but we understand that, you know, we, we're in the Elite Eight. You know, we, we've we've moved on to the second round of the playoffs. So, um, you know, without having to play a playoff game. And we have to take advantage of the time 
You know, we have to be great as coaches. We have to be great on our training staff, you know, our physical therapy, strength and conditioning, allow these guys to get some time off, but also heal and, and then get to work. Yeah, game. fantastic. He had to sign post-year. Oh. Well, I mean, I think I think Ron Rivera says best focus on things that are important and not that are interesting, and that's uh, that's probably interesting. Important is trying to get this team ready and find forty eight guys each week that um, believe in the same things that we do uh, and that help us win. So I, I do want you to mention the fans. I thought that that's where we were going, but uh, just appreciate them coming down here. Uh, wish we could have get them a better third quarter, but it was great to come out of that tunnel early this morning uh, and see people there and, and, and be excited. Uh, we'll see where Derek's at when we get back to Nashville. That's good. Thank you. Thank you.